couple of years ago when the Global Landscape Forum began, I considered myself to be I, uh, to have been one of the skeptics. I thought, you know, how, how can you really relate to landscapes? It's so general. It's, it sounds so trivial. When I think of landscaping, I think of like mowing the lawn and, 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 and working in the garden. And so uh, two years later, you know, as a result of, you know, working with people like Deborah and others, I think I'm starting to get it, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm finding myself more and more convinced that this is a viable approach. And I've seen examples in Seat's work that show that it is a, it can be a viable approach. And so uh, I'm going to stick around a little longer and see how it all works out. Where could this approach be applied? Well, uh, we're seeing a lot of examples uh, in this meeting today. We saw, we heard about an example from um, from uh, Kenya. Uh, I, 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 I visited um, a site where where. Um, where lands, a landscape approach has been applied here in Peru. And so, uh, you know, I guess there's a lot of pot potential to scale it up. I saw one watershed in the coastal region of Peru. There are 53 watersheds. So right there, you've got plenty of, uh, of uh, scope for scaling up. What I, I don't get is how much, how much does it depend on the kind of landscape you're talking about. Uh, today, we were talking about sort of classic uh, situations which you have downstream and users of water and other uh, ecosystem services and you have upstream people who are who, whose activities uh, affect those resources but uh, then if you're talking about sort of flat watersheds in an area like the Amazon basin uh, the, the landscape approach as is, is it is relevant there can it accomplish, accomplish as much there um, can you be as successful bringing the people uh, together there and where you have you know violence you know mo drug mafias uh, illegal timber mafias is. I mean, it's rather hard to imagine those people sitting around the table with farmers and, uh, and, and others reaching some kind of amicable deal. They've got guns. They're killing people. Yeah.